Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm making a single color spiral shirt. And in this video, I'm going to give you some helpful tips and tricks on trying to keep the white areas white on your shirt. So to begin, I'm going to take a fork and I'm going to use that to begin my spiral. It's always important to remember that if you're using a fork or hemostats or tweezers that either they're coated or that you don't press too hard where they poke a hole in your shirt. After I have my shirt spiraled, I'm just going to hold it in place with some rubber bands. Before I put my shirt aside though, I'm going to take a washable marker and draw a line down the middle of my shirt on the front and on the back where I'd like to apply the dye. I'm going to make sure I take that line down through the middle of my spiral. Okay, so it's time to start applying the dye. Before I start to apply the dye, I'm going to find the top or the neck area of my shirt. And that's the side of the shirt that I want to apply the dye to. It's my personal preference, but when I do a single color dye, I generally like to apply the dye to the top side of the shirt. For this shirt, I'm gonna use a Grateful Dyes color called Plum. My dye setup is I have a long plastic tub and I have a closet rack that is longer than the tub. I lay the closet rack down over the top of the tub and lay my shirt on the rack. And as I apply the dye, any excess dye just runs through the grate and collects down in the tub. I'm going to apply this plum color only to this one side of the shirt. And I'm going to saturate it really well, but I don't want to oversaturate my shirt because if I oversaturate my shirt, more of the dye is going to want to creep over into the white area. I am totally expecting part of the dye to creep over into that area and I'm okay with that. If you're not okay with losing some of the white area, then you may need to take some thickened water and put in that area and apply it just like you were applying dye. But because it's just thickened water, it doesn't have a color associated with it. After I have the front side saturated really well, I'm going to turn my shirt over and do the same thing on the back side. Okay, so now that I've got all the dye applied, it's time to set it aside to process. What I do is I take the same kind of tub that I used to dye with and the same kind of rack that I used to dye with, except I've cut the rack off where it will now fit down inside of the tub. And so I put the rack down inside of my tub and I lay my shirts that I've dyed down on top of that rack and then put the lid on the tub. Then I can put it out in a warm place outside or in a warm room, any place that's over 70 degrees, and allow it to process for at least 24 hours. Okay, so now I'm ready to start rinsing out my shirt. There's more than one way to do this, I'm sure, but this is just the way that works for me, so I'm gonna tell you how I do it. I have a work sink, and I begin by turning my water onto cold. 
and never lay my shirt down in the sink. I just hold it in my hand and begins to rinse it under the cold water. I always start rinsing my shirt with the white area first and I make sure that white area is up so any of the runoff from the water does not run onto the white area. I rinse my shirt really well in this cold water, just continue to rinse until I'm pretty sure that I have most, if not all, of the soda ash out. Then I will gradually warm up my water while continuing to hold the shirt in my hands. After a while, I'm just going to go ahead and remove the rubber bands and continue rinsing the shirt. Every now and then, I'll just continue to increase the hot water a little bit more. Sometimes I go ahead and soak my shirt in hot water to get out some of the excess dye before I throw it in the washing machine. I'm going to do that this time. So to do that, what I'm going to do is just add hot water to my sink and add a little bit of blue Dawn dish soap. What that will do is that will help keep the dye from redepositing onto the white area of my shirt. I just let it soak in the sudsy water for a while and about 30 to 45 minutes later, I'll come back and change out the water. I usually do that a couple of times before I throw it in the washing machine. Okay, so now it's time to throw it in the washing machine. I put it in the washing machine by itself, add a little bit of Dharma's textile detergent, and wash it in hot water. I generally wash it a couple of times by itself. Then I just throw it in the dryer and here's how it turns out. Listen, if you guys are enjoying watching these videos, I sure would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's really easy, all you have to do is hit the big red subscribe button. Thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great day.